Hello friends, welcome back. In our last video, we had seen how to find the solution of Laguerre equation. In this video, we will see how to find generating functions for Laguerre equation. So, what are generating functions and what is the requirement of finding generating functions? In solving various problems of mathematical physics, one has to come across different special functions of differential equation and we need to require to find the property of these special functions. The cases may be of conduction of heat, interaction between radiation and matter, propagation of electromagnetic waves or acoustic waves, theory of nuclear reactor, and internal structure of stars. But the main aim lies behind finding the property of special functions of differential equations. So generating function helps us to do the same. We can find the different terms of the polynomial by using generating function directly, but that becomes combustion. So we will use Roderick's formula for finding different terms of the polynomial. For Roderick's formula, we will see in our next video. For that, you, you must subscribe our channel and continuing with the proof of generating functions, we move. Proceeding with the LHS, what do we get? 1 upon 1 minus t. And this is e to the power x. So the expansion of e to the power x is 1 plus x plus x square upon factorial 2 plus x cube upon factorial 3 and so on the general term minus 1 to the power r 1 upon r factorial px by 1 minus t to the power r and so on this becomes 1 upon 1 minus t and this can be written as summation runs over r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r tx upon 1 minus t to the power r upon factorial r multiplying it with 1 minus t we get minus 1 to the power r t to the power r x to the power r upon factorial r 1 minus t to the power r plus 1 so this can be written as r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r e to the power r x to the power r by factorial r and this becomes 1 minus t to the power minus r plus 1 again we will expand this term with the help of binomial theorem so this comes as r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r e to the power r x to the power r upon factorial r and this becomes 1 plus r plus 1 into t plus r plus 1 r plus 2 upon factorial 2 into t square and so on r plus 1 r plus 2 up to r plus s upon factorial s this becomes t to the power s and so on we are using the big bracket over here so size doesn't matter again summation r equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r t to the power r x to the power r upon factorial r and this can be written with another summation which runs from s equal to 0 to infinity now this term can be written as r plus s factorial upon factorial r because after cancelling we get the same thing and this is s factorial this is t to the power s Taking both the summations together, summation r equal to 0 to infinity, summation s equal to 0 to infinity, 
this is minus 1 to the power r x to the power r factorial r whole square factorial less and this is k to the power r plus s now taking r plus s equal to s that will give s is equal to n minus r this becomes r s equal to 0 to infinity minus 1 to the power r x to the power r r factorial square and this s is n minus r so this becomes n minus r factorial and t to the power r plus s is n now the coefficient of t n for a fixed value of r is minus 1 to the power r x to the power r factorial r square and n minus r. So this is the coefficient of Pn for a fixed value of r. Now for getting the total coefficient of Pn we will have to take the summation for all allowed values of r. So for total coefficient of Pn we take summation over all allowed values of R So our S was N minus R and S is positive. So N minus R is also positive which gives R is less than or equal to N. So summation will run over R equal to 0 to N because R is less than or equal to N and this becomes minus 1 to the power R x to the power R upon factorial R whole square n minus r. This is the thing but our ln x which was the solution which we had obtained in our previous class. Now one upon one minus t to the power minus t x upon one minus t this gives summation r equal to 0 to n minus 1 to the power r x to the power r upon factorial r square n minus r and t to the power n because this was the coefficient of t to the power n and this is nothing but ln x so this can be written as 1 upon 1 minus t t to the power minus t x upon 1 minus t and this is r equal to 0 to n you can write it as ln x t to the power n and when n moves from 0 to infinity we get 1 upon 1 minus t t to the power minus tx upon 1 minus t equal to n equal to 0 to infinity ln x e to the power n. This is the proof for the dating function and this can be further used in our Rotrix formula for finding the different terms of Lagero polynomial. Thank you.